Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Tonight, it's time for another garden tour. Like I said last week, we were supposed to get a lot of rain this past week, and we did. We got about seven and a half inches of rain in the course of, I don't know, five days? Yeah, five days. Most of that came in like two days. We had rivers running down our walk paths. Plants were drowning. I'm surprised it's still standing. But let's check it out and see what's growing see how things are surviving and some are even thriving so that's pretty exciting. Overview of what it looks like. Just kind of a general overview. We laid this mulch down a couple days ago and um, just to kind of, I think we're going to put up a fence so this is just kind of to give us a little entrance into the garden so we don't have to step on anything. Pretty sure our zinnias got taller the last couple of days. And they look like they're doing well. Our peppers are still doing pretty well. Not crazy looking, but they're getting better. This guy's definitely getting some more buds on him, so that's really cool. This little marigold is doing well. Our eggplant, oof, they are so sad looking. There are only like three that actually look like they might actually make it. I don't know, it's that guy over there. He looks very, very sad. This guy looks very, very sad. They're losing their leaves. I, I don't know if it's from the bugs or from the rain. I don't really know. These peppers are doing well. Starting to get little buds on them for blossoms. So maybe we'll get some peppers from all these guys. I'm pretty hopeful for that. Um, the basil I planted over there did not survive. Our flowers are coming back to life. They looked so bedraggled after the rain. Oof. I wasn't really sure they would make it, but they're looking really well. You can take off that dead guy back there, but they're looking beautiful. Giving a bright spot of color for garden here. Our hot pepper is still doing well. And we have a little pepper there and a little pepper over there, right there. Funny story about these guys. These were the ones that randomly sprouted in our house. So this week I decided to harden them off and put them outside. And I kind of forgot about them underneath the edge of the roof and it thunderstormed one day. And I went out there to check on them and the water had come down with such force that it had driven all the dirt off of the seedling. And they were just this little root thing and that was it. So I was like, oh boy, I don't know if these are going to grow. Let's stick them in the ground. We'll see how they do. And they're still growing a couple days later. So I guess I must have done something, right? This flowery, weedy bed. It's still growing. Definitely should probably come through and pick out the obvious weeds. Not really sure. Onions are still going crazy. Flower bed is looking weedy and flowery. And we got some flowers there that are definitely flowers. There's a nasturtium. I knew this pack had nasturtiums, but I think that's the only one I see that has sprouted out of all of these. I'm pretty sure that is a tree. My sunflowers are looking a little yellow. Not really sure why. Whew, tomatoes. They are doing okay. This whole row of tomatoes. Some are looking better than others. Some are like this guy. I don't know why he's all wilty and not wanting to grow. Like, I don't understand. Like, did he get too much water? I don't know if he'll perk back up or not or if he'll just die. This marigold is looking really good. These guys are starting to get some Weird little beetles on them. Just tiny little guys. Oh, it won't focus on it. There we go. See all those little weird little bugs? Need to figure out what they are and get rid of them because they're not doing so well. Oh yeah, this other thing that I forgot to mention. I am trellising these, doing a Florida weave. So I have posts spread up all the way down here and then twine I'm trying to hold all these guys up because they're pretty much just laying in the water looking very bedraggled so hopefully this will help them this my friends is and it's mud play these are her pies that she's allowing to cook these footprints yeah this whole thing was just a soggy doggy mess for days and Anna loved playing in there and yeah, I'm surprised my tomatoes have survived. A 
Look at this guy on there. Mm. So these guys in particular, with their heavy fruit, were pretty much laying over. And so I really needed to tie them up so that they would survive. I mean, look at the tomato on that guy already. Whew. So, you know, things are doing okay. This guy that I rooted from, he fell off for some reason and I rooted him. He's doing really well. Um, yeah, these tomatoes up here looking much better. These cherry tomatoes, whew, look at them. They're just like monstrous guys, so they're doing really, really well. This basil is getting close to being able to be harvested. Cool, cool. Okay, so in here we have our peanuts still growing. Look at that little peanut guy. He's looking pretty good. And we have several that have sprouted. Random little volunteer tomato. I mulched my cucumbers and I transplanted some of them. And I don't think they quite made it, so. It's not the mulch's fault. It's just the transplanting process. Wasn't great. I probably didn't get very good roots. So, we have several cucumbers. So I'm gonna make, finish making a trellis, like here. And then over to that pole as well. I mulched my carrots after I weeded them really well. There's this really annoying weed that looks like a carrot. This guy, right here. Looks like a carrot, kind of, until you pull it. And you're like, oh, that is not a carrot. So I thought I had all these carrots in here. Really, I don't. I also have a bunch of basil, a couple of tomato plants that are doing well, and some pepper plants that I'm gonna thin. So, carrots are looking beautiful. Definitely not as many as I thought I had planted in here, but it's a good amount. And they're looking healthy. It's back down here. The mustard is still seeding. Ooh. I should actually harvest these. Oh, they self-seeded and pretty much have busted open. I guess I missed harvesting most of the seeds from them. Oopsie. <laughs> guess maybe I can still get from some of the other ones, I guess. Oof, I forgot about them, kind of. Oopsie. I let it, my mustard here is doing really well. I need to harvest it, I think. Well, that feels really weird, like almost bristly. Um, we've been eating more salad. And yum. I'm not really sure where this water goes. Probably in there. Anyway, some more mustard is going to seed. My beets, I think, are still growing. Onions still look like they're doing okay. These carrots need to weed and mulch them so that they can do well. Our sunflower house is definitely looking more distinct. It's more little, I think we have. One little sunflower right there that's growing and that little guy there and they will help this wall there might be a accidental door here if nothing comes up there but i guess that's okay Whew, more mulch coming into my flowers heavily so the rest of the sunflowers house over there is pretty good it's random squash still looking good oh yeah today i found the first of squash bugs Stink bugs, squash bugs, yeah, that's what they're called. Uh, no, 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 you guys are gonna get out of here, so I took care of them, got them out of there. Oh, look, 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 there's a bunny. You better not come munch my garden, Mr. Bunny. Stay away. Surprised he's so close. That's crazy. So yeah, the squash bugs, they need to go away. I don't like them. And they're pretty early, but these guys are doing well. These little melons I transplanted. I don't remember what they are. We'll, we'll see. They'll be yummy. They're growing. 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 Random beet from my beet patch. I'm up over here on this melon. My strawberries are still looking good. Look at that. Mmm. Nasturtium is still looking good. Watermelon is doing well. And these guys I transplanted. They're doing well. That guy I didn't, but this guy over here I did. He's still growing. And these guys, look at that nasturtium, it's gonna flower soon. Look at that little honeydew. I got rid of the rest of my honeydew babies. Only have two left there now. Ooh, look at this beauty growing. So beautiful. My cantaloupes are doing well. Oh look, this little guy even has a flower on him. 
So, so cool. They're like getting ready to anyway, right there. So, so cool. Mm. Look at that beautiness right there. So here's our squashes. They're doing pretty well. I've mulched everything today. I mulched these guys with some leaf mold to help them out a little bit. Help them grow a little bit better. They're doing well. I mean, zucchini. This random zucchini plant. It just up and wanted to like shrivel up and be all wilty. So I don't really know what's up with that. This is where I found the squash bugs. So maybe they had something to do with it. I'm not really sure. Most of them are looking. Okay, this guy. He's also a little wilty. But then you come across this kind of beauty. Mm. So let's say our pumpkins and stuff are doing well. These seeds actually sprouted. I didn't think they were gonna, but they did. So that's always encouraging, you know, when something sprouts. Mm. You know. So all those are doing well pumpkins, they're getting pretty big. So I guess with the squash, I just really need to keep an eye out for the squash bugs. Make sure they're not doing damage to keep on top of that daily so see how that goes <laughs> if you guys have any tips for them i'll take them our potatoes are doing really well they need to be held again growing like crazy super thankful for them picked up this trellis today for my pole beans and they can climb that i'll probably have to add to it a lot as they get bigger but that's okay Look at these guys, look at these wee potatoes, they're doing so well, and I'm very, very thankful for them. And the random little melons or whatever we got growing in here. I'll keep them for a little while at least. The marigolds still need to be planted, still haven't done that yet. Keep growing little guys, don't let anything bug you. That cantaloupe is still doing well. Look at this corn guys. It is so huge. It's probably like six inches tall now. And it's growing like crazy. Definitely love the rain. <laughs> I knew that would be a big change from last week to this week. So then, we have our little row of sunflowers over here that are getting huge so fast. And our beans that are growing like crazy. Look at them, they're just doing well. This tomato plant. Is also surviving and doing well. Corn is, yeah, definitely doing well. Have not needed to buy that soaker hose yet. We will probably pretty soon. We also mulched our blackberry patch this week and just to kind of keep down the weeds in between it. So hopefully that does well as well. Thanks for watching this garden tour. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can check back in later to see how our garden is doing as we post videos about it. Leave us a comment down below if you are growing a garden and what growing did the rain affect you did you get rain all that sort of stuff we'd love to know see you next time